Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I hope you are all fine. In today's video, we are going to make another great project. We are going to build a powerful drill machine that you can use in any application at your home. It's very easy to build. You just need a few materials and components to build this powerful drill machine. Let me show you the material that we are going to use to build our drill machine. I have a plastic medicine tube here, you know, just like this. Uh, don't worry about it. I know many of us have these kinds of plastic medicine tubes at your home, so you can find any of them and use for, the, for this project. The other thing, I have a DC motor, 9 volt DC motor. You can also apply uh, 12 volts for this DC motor. It doesn't matter, that's a big issue. You can also use about uh, 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, it doesn't matter. The other things, I have just a drill chunk here. You can use any pin, uh, it could be thick or thin. And I have a on-off switch just for this project and just a piece of uh, copper wire for making the connections. Now we will start to build our power drill, but before we get started to build our power drill, my YouTube channel is very new and need your help, need your support. Please like my videos and subscribe my YouTube channel. Now, let's start to build our powerful power drill. Okay, first of all, I am taking my plastic tube and I will just make a small hole here to just put through the cable. Just a very little tiny hole. Okay, that's fine. Okay, just as you see. Now I will cut this part of the cable momentarily. I will tell you why I cut this part of the cable. Now I need to make another hole here to just place our on off switch. As you see, it's really nice. It just fit into the hole. Okay, just like this. Now I'm going to pull through the cable. Okay. <clears throat> I will just take this part out from this hole for making connection for um, on off switch. Just tape it in order to stable it. Okay. Now I am going to solder the cables to the DC motor and on off switch. Okay, that's fine. Now it's time to uh, solder the cables to our on-off switch. As you see, I am just using two pins of the on-off switch. Don't need to use the third one to this one and this one will be enough. As you see, I made all of the connections and now it's time to put everything together into the plastic tube. First, I will put the DC motor into the plastic tube. If your DC motor not just fit to the plastic tube, you can make, uh, you can heat the plastic tube a little bit and make it more extendable. So your DC motor will be just fit into the plastic tube. I will just put my DC motor into the plastic tube very tightly. Okay, just like this. I need some force to fit. 
you did Okay, eventually I managed to uh, place the DC motor into plastic too. As you see, it's very tight. As you see, it's just like, it's very tight. So don't, you don't need to use any screws to uh, make it more stable. It will be fine, okay? Now I will staple the on-off switch with my hot glue. Okay, just like this. Not too much, just a little bit. Yeah, almost we finish our project. And lastly, we just need to uh, put the drill chunk on the DC motor. And I will put some hot glue over here. Okay, we finished our project. As you see, it looks very nice, very beautiful, and it's very powerful. You can use it in any application. That's a very useful gadget and device for you. Now it's time to test it and see how powerful it is. I'm going to use my homemade power supply and if you want to uh, do this kinds of power supply, you can visit my YouTube channel now. I'm going to use this uh, homemade my DC power supplies. Okay, it's ready to test it. Wow, that's great. It's a plastic uh, board, but it's great. Wow, that's nice. Good. Well, lastly, let's try to uh, make some hole in this plastic. Okay, as you see, it's easily made holes um, on the plastics and woods. Now, as you see, it's a very nice gadget, very nice device. You can use it at your home. And also, if you change the uh, drill chunk, you can use this device as a uh, mixer or a blender you can use um, for this purpose. So, thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and see you in the next videos.